Hello, welcome to another vlog. Today I'm at home. Now, I'm afraid I'm a sucker for a decent sunset. I know it's cheesy, but I just can't help myself. So I was looking out the window of my office, and as you can probably see behind me, it might have the makings of a half decent sunset. I can't shoot it from my front garden because there's electricity wires in the way. So what I'm going to do is walk down a bit closer to the lake and get set up. Uh, this is probably going to be a very short one picture vlog. Now this really is the simplest of simple images. It's really just a snapshot. I'm shooting straight into the sun. Got the sun on the third line on the left hand side of the composition. If you're ever wondering about whether or not there's likely to be a good sunset, and as I mentioned earlier, I'm a sucker for them, so I've shot hundreds. What you're always looking for is some high cloud with a bit of texture underneath. And what's perfect about this is that there's absolutely no cloud at all right on the horizon. So what's going to happen, and in fact it's already started happening and we're still a good 10-15 minutes off sunset itself. As the sun drops below the cloud into the clear sky, it's going to illuminate the base of all of this uh, nicely textured high cloud. And it's also going to reflect off the lake as well. You might have seen some of my other vlogs. I've gone right down to get all of the crap in the foreground out of the way. There's old fencing and rocks and bits and pieces. But actually, it's part of the character of the location. And so I've decided for this particular image, I'm gonna keep it all in. Now it's just a matter of waiting. I'm shooting at ISO 100, of course, um, F13, just to make sure that I've got a decent depth of field, but I don't envisage any problems with that because there's nothing in the foreground within about uh, 30 feet of the camera. I'm going to use a two-stop bracket because I'm not metering separately for the sky and the foreground. I'm just using average meter in, take the whole lot, and then I'll sort it all out in uh, Photoshop later on. I'm going to wait until it's right on the horizon before I start taking any serious shots and then probably another 15-20 minutes to see what sort of colours we get in the clouds. But I've had worse afternoons so, and it's a lovely warm day as well which is unusual for February. <laughs> 